This is what not to call your child. <gasps> Tony. Clydia is a beautiful name and I'm tired of everybody making fun of it. I named my daughter Clydia because I've always loved the name Lydia, but I have a K name. My name is Cass. So I was like, I want my daughter to have a K sound at the beginning of her name. So I was like, how about I just add a C in front of Clydia or in front of Lydia. So it'll be Clydia. It sounds like chlamydia. Oh. Rosanna was actually quite supportive in the comments. Maybe we can arrange a play date with my son, John Aria. <laughs> Good from Rosanna. Lucy said, I got Clydia in my first year of university. <laughs> Marcia said, my name is Marcia Royd. And my daughter, Emma Royd, would also like to attend <laughs> this play date. Emma <laughs> Oh, I know, I've got Emma <laughs> <laughs> uh, And Margaret said, glad you know where your daughter, Clydia, is. My boyfriend still hasn't found my Clydia. <laughs> 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 oh. So I worked at a clothing retail store in college and this lady came in and I was checking her out and she had the sweetest new baby girl. And of course I was like, oh, she's so cute. What's her name? And she said, Cuntley. <laughs> and it was monogrammed right there on her <gasps> bag in like the prettiest script. C-U-N-T-L-E-Y, Cuntley. <laughs> And I was like, oh, <laughs> what do you even say to that? And she was like, yeah, a lot of people don't like it, but we just really like it. Can't and me. I'll never forget that. I think about that girl, because now she'd be a teenager. And I think, how? what is her life like? Is that even allowed? <laughs> You know how there's, like, names you can't call? Yeah. There's, like, a list of names in Australia and one of them is, like, old mate and you can't call your kid old, old mate. mate. And one of them is also VB, I think, is, like, on the list. But surely you can't call your name your kid a swear. Well, but it's not a swear. It's, but it is. It includes a swear, but it's not a... It's, no, but... So C-U-N-T, not allowed. C-U-N-T... L-E-Y. L -E -Y. Fair game. I don't reckon... Oh... Um, and the monogram on the bag as well, the pretty script on the bag. Ugh. Willie Stroker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Willie. Um, I would go for Bill Stroker because it makes you sound rich. Like? Stroking a dollar bill, you know? Just the word. I feel it's like anything in front stroker, of Stroker yeah. is not Cuntly good. Stroker. <laughs> <laughs> That's your name, your nickname. <laughs> well, the old CS is in town. <laughs> <gasps> oh... <laughs> And this is going to sound really cruel, but have you ever seen a person that looks more like a wet fart? Oh, you haven't, have you? Yeah. And he's wearing all brown as well, which isn't helping. Yeah. Oh, poor wet farts. Poor wet farts. I've always said that. <laughs> Dick champion. Rises at 5 a.m. every morning. Oh, well, you got to have your hobbies, isn't it? Oh. oh, most people have their dick rising at 5 a.m. in the morning. That's a strong name because you assume that the dick is like short for Richard. Mm. So even Richard Champion, isn't that just like the strongest name you've ever heard? I'm pretty sure Richard Champion used to play for the Brisbane Bears. Yeah, well, there you go. Dick Champion. Wonder what he's doing now. OF. <laughs> Mike Litterus. Oh! <laughs> that has to be fake. No <laughs> way. And a homeowner in this economy. In this economy. That's in, how you know it's bullshit. In Esther economy, a Mike yeah. Litterus. Uh, if it said Mike Litterus saving for a house, I would have believed the whole oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. But a homeowner? <laughs> or imagine if it was like, like, not to joke about this, obviously, we would never, but if it was like a missing person, it was like Mike Clitoris is missing, like, yeah. can't find it. <laughs> never have, never been seen, you have to be somewhere, place to be missing first. <laughs> No way. General <laughs> ass biscuits. Uh, Tony will now say it in the accent that it, it looks... General ass biscuits, maybe? <laughs> Does that, that sounded quite sexy. I've it never did. done that before, but that was good. Was it because of the accent or because you're thinking of ass biscuits? Can I have some of your... Uh, um, uh, how you say uh, ass biscuits? <laughs> of, like, poos. Oh. oh! Yeah, I didn't... General shit. <laughs> 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 That's just unfortunate, isn't it? It is. In the yearbook, for sure. Just give him a full name. Yes. What, why would you not have the full name in a yearbook? You know them all. You went to school with them. But also, yeah, the point, or if you don't know them, then you still don't really know them. Like, the point is to, like, so that you Who's can look that? back and remember. 
Yeah, that guy was a real dick. Pianist. <laughs> <laughs> a real Richard champion. <laughs> Rising every day. Crystal ball. <laughs> Future looks bright. You know what I'm saying? It really does. Mm-hmm. Oh. Were previous generations like boomers and shit, were they just not as immature as us? Because we just see Richard and we go, dick, ah, and like you would never call someone dick. Like, just imagine now, I go, oh, this is my son. Oh, what'd you name him? Dick. dick. Like, never. Really? Never. Even the fact that dick is short for Richard, who, like, maybe they were immature because who gets dick out of Richard? That's not a. That's not uh, an invitation. Uh, Mrs. Champion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, sorry, Mrs. Smalley, actually. <laughs> Mrs. Weiner and Mrs. Bart. No. One of the great combinations, and I've always said that. Oh, surely not. Do you reckon you would just not put those two teachers together because of that reason? For that reason, surely. Surely, option B can't have been that much worse than to put Weiner and Bart together. Also, traditionally, yep. if you're a missus. It implies, especially for, for back then, this is 1981, yep. it implies that that person has taken that name from their husband. Mm. Why on fucking God's green earth yep. would you take your husband's ma- for your married name as if you would go, yeah, I'll, I'll be your wiener. I'll be your butt. So they've got wieners and butts at home. <laughs> but, like, you know, yeah. what were they before? Like, Smith and Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Nelson, yeah. and they've gone for wiener and butt. But, Can you imagine these days? You go, yeah, I'll either take your name to get away from this wiener and butt yeah. or keep my own. Yeah, I'd, if I was a wiener, I would take anything to get away from... A butt? Yeah, okay. Much if they meet it, met, married each other and they did yeah. a hyphen... Like Mrs. Wiener Bart. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we're finishing with good names. We've had oh, some bad ones, and this is just long wang. Yeah, that is great. Get around it. Yeah, Get I mean it's it. better than Dick Smalley, isn't it? And I've always said that. And Long Wang looks really happy about it. He does. Good for you, he Long really Wang. Does. Shit joke alert. Oh, I mean, if you're not here for a shit joke, then fucking probably find someone else. Have you ever had a real estate agent that was so good you'd suck his dick? Literally never. <laughs> oh, so you've never met. Someone who is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was he pretty good? Yeah, BJ worthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of my shit. Nah, that's good. That's very Thank good. You. Thank you. Oh, call that number for a good time. Like It's like what yeah. you see, at, like in a toilet. And how? Dr. Roloco- <laughs> <laughs> roller coaster. The, that was a roller coaster. The irony that that lady looks... Like, A, she's never been on a roller coaster, or B, never had fun in her life. Yeah. It's quite ironic, because what a name. Well, imagine, like, so they're a doctor, and I, I'm assuming not a medical doctor, given what they're speaking about yep. on the news, but, like, you imagine that. You've been doing it tough for a little bit, right? You're in the hospital, yep. and the doctor comes in, and they go, I'm so sorry, but you've got cancer, and you have to say, okay, like, thank you so much, Dr. Roller <laughs> Like you just, or if someone walks in, they go, "Hello, Tony. I'm Doctor Rollercoaster. I'll be taking care of you today." And you go, "Fuck hell!" So new Pope elected. Yeah. And they go, "Oh, so what was the election like?" And she goes, "Oh, it was a wild ride." Yeah. <laughs> was it a? Uh, uh, and she goes, "I will not say it." Like, <laughs> <laughs> or is she going to be the person that's like, "No, it's Rollo Costa." Oh yeah, and you, I think you've got to lean in, like Long Wang. He's leaning right in. Yeah, and good He's for him. All in, all the way if you in. will. Yeah. As, oh, sorry, as much as he can. Yeah. Even. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'd love to be all in. Yeah. I'm always all. In. I can't be in and not all in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that was a roller coaster. <laughs> 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 all right. Chat to you later. Love you. Bye.